I was exposed to my first art gallery when I was 26, which is not that long ago, um, and kind of discovered a whole new world of visual art and completely became obsessed with it. Um, and yeah, never really looked back. You know, it took a few years to like became comfortable and calling myself an artist because I guess it just felt like, you know, you needed to qualify with something. Um, so some of the obstacles have definitely been you know, finding resources, finding support. Um, a lot of the work I had to do by myself. Um, also being in an artist community in Dar es Salaam that is very young. And yeah, just trying to get, find motivation and getting myself out there and getting my work, you know, visible and being a sustainable artist. It's been quite difficult to build that up. My work used to, you know, be reactive in terms of it would react to a certain political situation within the country. But I think I've more grown to experiment in terms of our understanding of, you know, place, language and self. Um, it, that could mean that I work with body erotics, specifically the female body. Um, I'm also interested in myths, mythology, and the metaphysical in terms of how we experience different realities depending on um, different cultures. Um, and I honestly just feel like I'm curious and want to keep growing and don't really want to confine myself to any one thing. My creative process <laughs> um, is organized chaos, I guess. You know, it just depends on the day. There are days that I come to the studio and it's a day of researching and that can be anything from like watching stuff to reading to browsing the internet. Um, but I think a lot of it ends up in writing. So I think a lot of my work starts off as a piece of writing, whether that be a journal entry, a short prose, or just a paragraph of, of an observation. And then I kind of use that as a guiding to develop my work. Um, and yeah, just because I work across so many mediums, uh, there's, there's never really one thing and every day is kind of different. What makes art special is because it's at the intersection of so many things, you know, it's at that intersection of science, politics, sociology, anthropology, <laughs> psychology, all the ologies. Um, and it's a way of communicating. First of all, it has the, the power of archiving, you know, for historical storytelling um, and reimagining histories and empowering people, educating people. The breadth of art is kind of limitless in terms of what it means to us. And it connects people in, yeah, it connects people that might have not have anything else in common and teaches us a lot about each other. I think the moment when someone is able to see themselves in the work, you know, gives me the most satisfaction. When um, it feels like I'm not making all these things just in vain, that I am telling a story and a story that people can relate to. Um, and I'm able to give voice to other people's experiences. I think, um, yeah, that's why you do it. <laughs>